So hello and a warm welcome to all of you worldwide. We're just waiting for the central characters to make their appearance and then we will be underway. The teams then, Paris Saint-Germain against Metz. I'm Peter Drury and it's my chance to say that it is an absolute delight to have Jim Beglin beside me. Hi Peter, it's great to be here. Paris Saint-Germain are in a 4-3-3 formation. Yeah, it's quite simple, Peter, really. With the ball, it's 4-3-3, and without the ball, it becomes 4-5-1. Away. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? I've got to go for the highly talented Neymar, a player who's had a lot of pressure to contend with in living up to the, the great potential he showed from, from such a young age. That's made him stronger mentally for me, which backs up his immense ability. Hard to disagree with that. It is the sort of situation he thrives in. Defending, he knew he had to stop it right there. Shoots! Oh, he's really drilled it. Cavani just couldn't steer it on target. Everything else was, was up there. Yeah, this has been pretty decisive. No doubt as to who the better side is. Now it's Rue. Marquinhos gets it back. Aim low and direct. Goes to the cross. Looking to shoot. Goal! Paris Saint Germain! And Paris Saint Germain take the lead. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. Paris Saint-Germain take the lead. Still a fragile lead though, they can't afford to sit on this. Now it's Rue. Rod and he's happy to keep going. Has a hit! Oh, that probably deserved better. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. It so nearly came off for him. Cavani certainly tends to cast his influence, and he's in imposing mood again. It is a poor kick by the keeper, being intercepted. It's Coad. Let's put a stop to that. Great run this, he's covered quite a distance. He's had a shot! Shots again. No. Paris Saint-Germain really are in the ascendancy here, and they know they have to register while that's the case. Away. Well 
to step in there. That was more than necessary. He's tried one. And that wasn't far away. Diara probably tried a bit too hard then. He should have relied on technique as opposed to power. been taken straight back to Sevi it's come loose and that will be the final action of the first half and there we are off they go for half time the breakthrough did indeed come in the first half but there has only been that one goal moments and it's 1-0 at the break here we go again. Paris Saint-Germain carry a one-goal lead into the second half. Now it's Rue. Rabiot. <laughs> well, there's something you don't see every day. on the left-hand side now to profit from it up to meet it he will be livid with himself oh look I don't want to sound too dismissive but from here that looks the harder thing to do Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Berati battles to win it back. Decent progress down the left. Neymar's crop. Towering header. He has done it. And this is getting better and better. Oh, the cross was inch perfect, and the header unerring. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. <laughs> Checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Paris Saint-Germain, a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. That second goal is such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Neymar tries to get it forward quickly. Bavani finds himself offside. it upfield he'll try from distance Bishavats who's ball who's going to get there now it's Rue so what now and it's Rue Neymar Delivering the goods as expected. Well, not only can a player of such high calibre show the imagination to set up a goal, but he can also produce when the he's through. It's one on Cavani. More and more and more and more. They are running riot. At 
and the lead is extended still further. It showed real composure then. I mean, how often do you see a player do everything right? Paris Saint-Germain decided now is the time to make their final change. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think... Is that a foul? Yes, the referee's given it. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. into the middle and there goes the final whistle Paris Saint-Germain enjoy their perfect day for their victims it is entirely imperfect comprehensive winners of a one-sided contest how would you summarize what we've seen today then Jim Paris Saint-Germain simply imposed their strength from start to finish and this